The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new stuff that was added into the game. We've got new packs, we have a bunch of new sets, and we have a few new players that were added to the game as well, including a 95 overall Patrick Peterson, which we will be taking a look at a little bit more in depth here in just a few moments. But... What I wanted to start off here, guys, was taking a look at the new packs that are in the game right now. We do have the AFC and the NFC specific packs. So if you go in here and you go to browse the store, you're going to be able to actually view these here. Um, we've got, like I said, the NFC playoff pack, um, or we've got the NFL playoff pack, as well as the AFC pack and the NFC pack. Now, of course, the big difference between these is that obviously the AFC playoff pack and the NFC playoff pack are going to guarantee you players from that conference. So in this case, you're going to get three gold or better AFC playoff players including one gold or better uh or go one gold or elite player and six additional team items so you know could be worth it who knows Fifty-five thousand coins is a little bit a lot for that in my personal opinion um same thing on the nfc side of course just the three nfc players as opposed to uh the afc players now if you wanted to go with the nfl playoff pack this does only guarantee you two gold or better playoff players and it doesn't guarantee guarantee you an additional gold beyond that so just keep that in mind, but that's always an option as well. Now, there are also new sets in the game. Now, this is what everybody's here for, I think. We're going to start off with the big one, and that is, like I said, the 95 overall Patrick Peterson. This is the new Man of the Month. Now, I say new Man of the Month, and it's interesting because we were told before that Tom Brady would actually be the final Man of the Month. Now, what's interesting about this is that that ended up not being the case because we do have this Patrick Peterson here. Now, what's what's very interesting about this, like I said, is a lot of people put all of their badges, their uh, team hero badges into the Tom Brady set. And unfortunately, that card wasn't going for as many uh as many coins I should say as like it what we would assume it would be at the time just because people were trying to get rid of those team of or um, those man of the month badges or the uh whatever they're called the team hero badges sorry if I'm a little bit ra rambling on here right now but it's a little bit confusing but the bottom line is that if you were somebody who actually was affected by this and you actually did multiple of the Tom Brady trying to get rid of your uh, your badges, this is definitely a time to contact help.ea.com, help excuse me, and you're going to want to actually contact them to uh, get some of that potentially back. So we've actually been seeing people uh, get actually granted back some of these Team Hero collectibles. So that's certainly something to consider if you are one of those people who spent all of your Team Hero uh, badges as you probably should have if you had them, just based on the information that we had going into this anyway. Um, make sure that you contact help.ea.com and they should be able to help you. Now, let's get into the Patrick Peterson itself. Again, just like we've seen in recent months, this does take 50 of the Team Hero badges so, you know, it is fairly expensive to complete, unfortunately. Um, but if you do want to get this Patrick Peterson, you are going to get a card that's decent. The only thing that I would say is that I actually think it's a little bit disappointing. Um, I want to bring up this one first. So this is actually the 91 overall Patrick Peterson, the most feared. Now, take a look at the chemistries that it has. It has the most feared chemistry and the Arizona uh, chemistry. So if you take a look at that, we'll go in here and see the most feared chemistries. If you were to have those activated, it's going to give you uh, additional attributes for catching, carrying, tackling, run blocking, power move, and zone coverage. So that one's pretty big. Like there's a lot of stuff that, that is included in that. So that's certainly something you could do. Now the Arizona one does add a man coverage, zone coverage, and a press. Now if you guys have watched videos in the past, we have actually seen that press really doesn't matter that much. So I'm not overly concerned about, you know, seeing a, uh, a, a Patrick Peterson or one of these cards that has a higher press rating. It's just not super important in my personal opinion. I haven't actually seen that it matters at all, to be completely honest with you. So my personal opinion is that that attribute really is quite irrelevant. Now, this card here, the Patrick Peterson, is going for less than 100,000 coins. You can get it for around 90,000. You see the one there. 
around 90,000 coins. Now, if you want to go up and get the higher overall, the new one that came out, it is four higher overall to get this Patrick Peterson. So definitely an upgrade as far as the attributes go, right? I mean, we should be seeing some seriously substantial upgrades between these two cards, but unfortunately, we're really not seeing that as much as at least what I think we should. So I'm gonna click on this one here and we'll take a look at these attributes here. Um, just looking at it on the base back of the card, you see that the Man of the Month card does have the 92 speed, so it's a little bit faster. It does have a one increase on that. The acceleration is actually only only one higher as well the agility does go up by one as well man coverage and zone coverage I think each of those went up by two if I remember correctly I'm gonna uh, on I, I don't I don't see it in front of me right now but I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you guys in the video um, but you see there, man coverage zone coverage went up by two each and then like I said we did get an increase of three for press however press really doesn't matter again uh, we'll go back and we'll test that at some point again for Madden 17, but at least in Madden 16, it did not matter whatsoever. So keep that in mind. Play recognition also, you know, a little bit of an upgrade here and there, but really overall, this card is just a one or two upgrade in basically every single thing other than press, which was three. So you're really not getting a substantial upgrade in any of the attributes. The other thing, where did that other chemistry go? Yeah, in this case, you are getting the Arizona Chemistry times two, but who runs Arizona Chemistry at this point? Like, it's almost a, a useless chemistry to begin with. Yeah, you get the times two, great, but it's what is it really upgrading? It's upgrading man coverage, zone coverage, and press very, very slightly. It doesn't really add anything additional. So to me, this is an extremely disappointing chemistry. I definitely would not say that this is a substantial upgrade from the 91 overall. I, if I were spending coins, I would go with the 91 overall right now. I really, really would because it's substantially cheaper. It's about what a third to a fourth of the price, somewhere in that range. And it's still a really good card. And, and quite frankly, if you have any of the other most feared cards, you could run multiple of those and get some good results out of that as well. So that is very disappointing. You see these are selling, by the way, pretty quickly here. 330 to 340,000 right now on the auction block. They're going pretty quickly. So definitely it'll drop a little bit in price and maybe it'll drop a little bit more after this video comes out and other people take a look at this card and see just how disappointing it is. But there are also some additional cards that came out into the game today, guys. Um, we do have, um, let's see here. I think the Badge Master, I'm trying to remember where this one is located. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this one just came out today as well. The Marcel Darius. Now, this one is a 94 overall defensive tackle. Marcel Darius typically does have very good cards in the game. He's actually gotten quite a few cards though lately, so it's kind of surprising to see me to, to see him getting an additional card today. Um, but still, pretty cool. Um, like I said, 94 overall. It does take 30 elite badges though, so even if you're spending 15,000 on the elite badges, you're still spending 450,000 coins on a defensive tackle. I, I don't know if that's worth it, man. I really don't know if that's worth it. My guess is that this card will actually drop quite a bit on the auction block as far as the price goes below that 450,000 coin price range once people start completing this set. So I would recommend not completing this set and just purchasing the card off the auction block if that's something that you're interested in. Now, the other cards that were added into the game today as well uh, were the competitive ones. We added two new ones. We got an Eric Weddle. And we also got a Jamal Charles. Both of these cards look pretty decent. Jamal Charles is a 93 overall. Eric Weddle is a 94 overall. The Charles requires 140 competitive badges. Eric Weddle, 160 competitive badges. So that is quite a few. Um, you know, of course, it all depends on what your personal opinion is on how important those uh, those players are to your team. You'll actually have to go in there and take a look at them. But I mean, that's a hell of a lot to spend. I mean, if you look at it, all these other ones that we've had so far this year, and these are still pretty decent cards um, up till like here-ish or so. Uh, yeah, the Sammy Watkins even I would include in this. I mean, these are definitely decent enough cards. Yeah, the Jamal Charles and Eric Weddle are a little bit better. 
but I mean, that's a hell of a lot of competitive badges. You'd have to play a lot of competitive draft champions or salary cap to accumulate these. So uh, at least it's something. It's cool that they're adding new stuff. I just wish that it wouldn't cost so much to complete these damn sets. You know, I really do. So with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up my video for today. Um, again, I want you guys to let me know in the comments section below. What do you guys think about these new cards that they added in the game? Do you think that any of them are worth what you have to do to get them? And also, what, what do you think about these uh, playoff packs as well, the AFC and the NFC playoff packs? Keep in mind that these two packs are probably going to drop the price of the playoff players. Keep that in mind. Is it going to drop them substantially? Probably not, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see like a 10% to 15% or so drop in the prices of the playoff cards over the next couple of days as these packs continue to be in the game for another two days. So with that being said, guys, thanks again so much for all the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new as well so that you get all the updates and uh, you can always do the live notification as well so that it'll give you the notification when I do uh, put out a new video. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.